Hey, what's going on guys? JC here. And what I'm bringing you guys today is a, uh, a quick video on how to reskin objects through the P3D. So there are some objects in Daisy that you just can't change it with using just like a, a custom PAA file. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to be using a vodka bottle. So I've been requested to do this and I'm just going to use a vodka bottle because that's what he's trying to do. And if we go to the vanilla config, so that's, that's pretty much how I get everything done. Um, so if you give me a second here, I will show you how I do this. So I'm going to open up a folder that has all of the vanilla daisy configs already unbinarized. Uh, this is available in my discord. There will be a link below, but we're going to be looking for drinks. So once we come into drinks, this is, like I said, this is the vanilla daisy, um, config. We're just going to type in vodka and you'll see this is the, this is the base class. This is not the class we're going to be calling out. We'll eventually call out vodka. But if you'll see down here, uh, we have ourselves a model, but nothing calls out a PAA file. Like for instance, uh, if we look at the soda bottles, the soda cans, so you'll see here how the soda cans actually right here call out a PAA. So these are a lot easier to change. Now, when, when we come across items that do not have a, uh, they do not have a line to call out a PAA file. The only way that you can do this. So there's, there's two ways. One way is you can try and create a hidden selection texture. Half the time it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you a way that does work every bit of the time. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the PBO for what we're trying to look for. So for instance, this is going to be gear drinks. And then once we open up this PBO, you'll see that the vodka bottles right here. So we're just going to right click this and we're going to drag this to our desktop. And we're going to put it in this YouTube folder. And then we're going to come into here and we are going to grab the vodka bottles CA instead of CO. It's just, it's CA it's done a little differently and I'll, I'm going to explain this. So we're going to copy this and we're just going to put this in this folder as well. And then once we do this, we're basically done inside the PBO. So now this is the P3D file that Daisy calls out itself. This is the PAA file that it uses. So if we open up our Daisy tools, and we go to our text view, you'll see when I drag this over here, this is what the vodka bottle looks like. So while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to save this as a PNG file. That way we can edit it. Refresh. So now we can just go ahead and just get rid of this one. And now we have vodka bottles. So if you try and go into object builder and you try and open this YouTube, this vodka bottles, you're going to get this message right here. It's unable to load a binarized version of the P3D. So everything that Daisy does is binarized. So what you're going to do is when you put it into your folder, if this is just a regular binarized, you're going to double click it, close the box and then refresh. And you'll see a vodka bottles underscore M This is basically an unbinarized version of this. So we can delete this one for now. And now we have one, if we come into our object builder and we go to open it, you'll notice that we can actually see our vodka bottle. So once we see our vodka bottle, select everything and you're going to hit your E muscle. You'll see that this is how it's textured. So this, this particular object is textured through the P3D file. So you'll see, we have an RV mat and we will have, um, the CA. PAA file. So how do we change this? So it's going to be pretty much the same as you would with any other, um, with any other file. So let's go ahead and let's open up a image editing software for this instance. We'll just use uh Krita, but you can use GIMP, Photoshop, Krita, photo P, whatever you know how to use, just use that. So we're going to go to open, let's go to our desktop. It's going to be under our YouTube folder. And here's the vodka bottle CA. 
So for this instance, I think all we're going to do is um, just to make this nice, simple, and easy, we're gonna grab our similar selection tool and we're just gonna basically do this. And then we are going to, let's choose a different color. Let's make it like lime green. And then we're going to go to select, I'm sorry, edit, fill. And then let's just deselect. So it basically is just gonna turn it green. We're not doing anything fancy. This is just for a tutorial video. So then we're going to save this as into here. Um, we can just call this um, vodka. Dot PNG, just like this. So once this is saved and all done, we can open this up and here's our edited version. So at this point, we're going to open up, this is normal stuff now. So we're just gonna to go to image to PAA. We're gonna drag this over, process the file. And as you can see, we should now have a PAA file. So at this point, we can delete these two files. So now we're gonna need a config file. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up a new text document. Uh, we're gonna call it config. Let's open it up. Um, what does this say? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, we're gonna keep this an editor. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this entire class. We don't need to, but we're gonna grab the entire class anyways. So we're gonna copy this over and we're going to put this in here like so. But before we do that, I also need to come to the top. We're going to grab our CFG patches and this right here. So copy. Oh, let's come over here. Let's go like this. Enter. Paste all of this. And then on here, we're going to need one more closing bracket. Now, if you don't understand how basic C++ coding works, it's okay. Um, I'll leave this in the description, or I'll, I'll leave this somewhere so you guys can get it. But essentially what we're going to do now is all of this is going to get deleted out of here. You don't necessarily need the units in there. Um, keep this the same. And then the class, this will be our mod name. So let's just make it uh, JC Vodka. Now we're going to file, we're going to save as, Let's change this over to a C++ source file and hit save. So now that we've got this, you'll notice that this is looks like a regular Daisy um, config file. We're gonna come here, we're going to change this over and this needs to be vodka because we're not making a, uh, we're not making a subclass. So now we're gonna come here, let's just hit enter and we're gonna name this class vodka with a semicolon just to call out the class and we should be good. Last thing that we're going to do now is we're going to come down here. Let me turn this on so you know that this is traffic stop. There we go. No more, no more alerts. My bad. So we're going to open up our object builder. Uh, let's open up. Oops. Sorry, we already had it open. We're gonna highlight everything, we're gonna hit E. So now what you're going to do is we are going to, if you scroll, all of this is the same faces. So we're just gonna select all. Takes a second, depending on your computer speeds. Any day now, there we go. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna switch this to PAA files vodka and we're going to open. Now you want to make sure you delete all of this crap. All of that. So you just want the folder name vodka PAA. So we're going to hit okay. You can keep the RV mat the same. You'll see that the RV mat is still being called out from the vanilla. If you create a new RV mat yourself, this is where you would replace this. But for right now, we're just replacing the texture. So we're gonna hit okay. We're going to save this as. Uh, let's bring this back to my folder that we were just in. Go to YouTube. 
and then we're gonna name this um vodka just just vodka should be fine so save you're gonna give that a unique name basically so now if we come like this let's actually get rid of which one is this one it's the text file let's get rid of the text file uh at this point we can get rid of the vanilla one so now we just have these three items so what we're going to do is bam bam and bam everything's good now we're going to go back into our config file we're going to come back to our folder we're going to right click we're going to do copy as path and right here where this model is being called out we're going to replace this with our model and we're going to delete all of this crap because no one on their computer will have that so all they're going to have is this folder and this p3d file and now up here, let's change the name to um, YT underscore vodka. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to like this. Vodka. Whoops. I hate when that happens. There we go. Vodka, just like so. And it's, like I said, if you see, if you come here, you'll see that this is how it's laid out for everything else. So that's what basically what we're going to do. So vodka, everything's good. We're going to save this. Now, if I've done this correctly, we've named it YouTube vodka. So if I've named, if I've done this correctly, let's close this down. We're going to go to our add on builder. Let's come to our folder. That's on our desktop. Where she be YouTube. Okay. We're going to send this to my Basically, so this is going to where I test all of my mods. You're going to send this to wherever you want your folder to be, where your PBO is. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you guys already know how to make PBOs. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our offline mode. All right, so now that we're in the game, let's pull up our tools. So our normal vodka, as you can see, it's, it's right here. So this would be the normal vodka. And then this will be our vodka. So if we send it to the cursor, these tools are weird. You'll notice here's our, our vodka. And it's reskinned very shittily. Like I said, guys, we weren't trying to do anything fancy. I was just showing you how to get a custom texture on here. So at this point, you can make this vodka bottle look like whatever you please. And it'll work. So that's essentially how you... um. That's how you change the texture of things through the P3D file. You essentially have to create a whole new P3D for yourself. But um, yeah, that's it. I appreciate everybody for watching. I really do appreciate that. Um, hopefully this helped. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.